How are you today? Uh, today we're getting back on with more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we're in the roads area. Uh, Dutch has asked us not to use any guns in and around the town of Rhodes. Because we had helped the law there. So I guess he wants to pretend we're respectable people. I can do that for a while. Why not? Uh, over the last little while I did do a little bit of the um, sort of side questing, I suppose. I just went around. Basically what I was doing was I was looking to... Uh, why can I not get on that horse? Yep, yep. Why do I keep getting off my horse? He seems to be having a problem with his horse. Okay, I guess we'll walk out of this, the camp and see why I'm having problems with my horse. Is that button stuck? Doesn't appear to be the case. Does my horse not like me anymore? No, it appears we're okay now. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, so I did do a couple of uh, side quests. Uh, there's a couple of weird ones. Uh, because basically I was going around, so... A quick tip for you guys if you are looking for the best way to make money. Because I found it was quite slow going making money uh, early on when I was playing. Uh, the thing to do is, you see these darker kind of squares or rectangles, sometimes they're kind of oddly shaped. Uh, if you go to these sorts of places all around the map, uh, sometimes they're going to be enemy camps, sometimes they're going to be empty houses. If you go to these places, you'll find stashes, you'll find jewellery, you'll find all sorts of stuff, and then you take it to the fence and you make lots of money. Uh, I've found that that was the best way and I've managed to get... You know, get Arthur looking a bit more respectable, I guess, is the word we're wanting to use. Yeah, respectable outlaw. Uh, so, yeah, I was doing a few of those. And there's a couple of strange ones. I mean, there was a there was a house uh, where it looked like somebody had died, I don't know, a year before, maybe maybe longer. Put it this way, they'd, they'd, they'd broken down to a skeleton. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at this mission at the Greys, because I feel like that's the mission I want to do. Uh, but yeah, so there was a couple of weird ones. As I say, there was a house that, to be honest, the woman's body had broken down to a skeleton. Didn't, couldn't see any flesh on it, which makes me think she'd been there a long time. Uh, I also found a... If you're looking at interesting kind of points of interest, just while we're riding around, up here... I uh, decided to kind of cut across the top of the map just to, just to find the boundaries more than anything else. Uh, there's a native uh, reservation just here. Uh, interesting place to go and see. But in the hills, sort of in this area, there's a few different things. The one that's interesting here is the Witch's Cauldron. Uh, it's kind of a shack with an open front. Uh, there's a cauldron with... A witch's brew inside it, and I'm not going to tell you what happens when you drink it, because it's better if you find out for yourselves. But if you want to head up there, if you haven't done so already, it's recommended. There's also... Sorry, I'm going to go back to the, the map again. A lot of you might have already found this, but up this way, uh, near here... Where exactly was it? This place here. Aberdeen Pig Farm. If you've not done that mission, that, that side quest, it's an interesting one. Uh, I didn't think it was entirely appropriate for uh, <laughs> for streaming, but, you know. Um, basically, a brother and sister live in that house. Uh, it used to be a pig farm. The parents died. They now run the pig farm. And find out. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, I should have probably done it on stream, but I wasn't entirely sure it was too appropriate. But try it. It is a good, it's a good, fun little mission. Yeah. You get to have a great sense of uh, revenge if you follow it along and let it happen. But yeah, so there's a lot of little nice 
side things here. I uh, found one sequence, you know, obviously the random events, where there was a woman kneeling on the floor crying. Uh, oh, excuse me, one second, just need to blow my nose. Sorry about that. Okay, so, yeah, uh, a woman crying, kneeling on the ground, um, which kind of reminded me of Left 4 Dead, I guess, with the witch. Anyone who's played Left 4 Dead knows all about the witches. Probably, I've probably reawakened some nightmares for some people. For that, I apologise. <laughs> but if you've got, but if I've got to have them, so have you guys. I'm sorry. If I've got to have them. So of you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, she's crying, and then when you get off your horse next to her, she suddenly rushes you with a knife in her hand and stabs you, I don't know, about three times, and then you get surrounded by about four guys. Uh, but by the time... What is this? Somebody's shouting at me. Who's shouting at me? Stay off our land, Braithwaite. What is this? I feel like I should shoot him. Why can't I choose my weapons? I'll get him. Let's just put this guy up on our horse. It looks like they were shooting at him. I don't know if he's stolen anything from them or what he's done. But I feel like, given this is land we're maybe not supposed to be on, maybe if I show a little peace offering, they'll be happy to meet me. Don't know if that's going to happen. Might be uh, some wishful thinking on my part. Well, let's head into Caliga Hall. Are these guys that were shooting around? Well, if they're not, let's go into here. Let's take him down. And let's just drop him. Not much point keeping him there if uh, there was no reason for him to, to be on my horse. feel like I'm going to have to give that to somebody. Is there anybody up here? Before I... Let me just see. No, there's nobody here to give that to, though. It's not like there's someone around that we can give it to. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can do something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just see if they've got this here the gray plantation. Yep. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Leech. What's he want us to do? Let's just ride carefully and nicely. Let's just get off the horse here. And let's walk nicely and talk to the people. I'm guessing they're probably going to be sworn to silence, to be honest. Oh. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Down by the wood store. There's Bo. Let's go and talk to him. 
So where's the wood store? Is that it? No, I guess it's down here. Where is he? Where's Bo Gray? Is that him? No, I can't talk to him. So obviously it's not him. There's so many people around though. It's like, which one is he? Maybe he's inside. Oh no, that'll be him. That has to be him, doesn't it? Sitting around doing nothing while everyone else works. Excuse, you're excused. He is open. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, it's got a secret of his own, guys. The whole lot of us what? Yeah, I'd rather not. Oh, it's like a Romeo and Juliet story, isn't it? She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray. I feel like I just killed the guy who was bringing the ring to her for. We Grays have been loyal to the state. I feel like that's what I've done. For so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty. And stupidity. I think I've I've killed the guy who was going to bring her an engagement ring. That was a bit silly. She's like a woman from the future. She's like I mean, you're not really supposed to give a wedding band as an engagement ring, I don't think. I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. Gang feuds. It's not really a, it's more like a family rivalry, isn't it? We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter. And this bracelet, please. Right, okay, yeah, why not? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So, their guards are worse with strangers than the guards here are. The guards here were a little bit crazy. I mean, they chased that guy down and shot him. Mind you, they were like stormtroopers, weren't they? They, they? they couldn't hit the guy. Horse is on its way. <laughs> I better follow the order, right? What order is that? Got something to say, buddy? Challenge you to a duel. Maybe not, eh? Guess we're riding out. So yeah, so... We're get, getting involved in a... Wild West Romeo and Juliet story. It's the Greys versus the Braithwaites. Just hope it doesn't end up like uh, like that story did, hey? Lots of death and tragedy. Then again, that's what makes an interesting story. But, you know, sometimes the story's been done too many times. Mind you, there aren't, there aren't that many original stories around anymore, you know. But I feel like I should probably get off my horse and walk up here. But at the same time, I think that I'm not doing anything wrong. Then again, I did pass here before and they were not very friendly. 
Yeah, I've got to sneak past the guards. Okay. So let's get off my horse. And see how easy it's going to be to get there. A bit cloudy. Maybe that'll help us out. Maybe it won't. There's the gazebo. There's a guard somewhere over there. Hopefully at that gate where he won't see me now. Only one though, I'm guessing. Because there's only a small red marker there, whereas there's a pretty large one in, in that direction. Oh, there's guard right there, look. Wow, they're like circling. Nope. This is not the gazebo. They have more than one, it would appear. So it's not this one. That's great, but that just makes it really annoying, because now I've got to try and sneak past guards in slightly more compromising locations. Can we take a swim, maybe? Ah, god damn it. I'm swimming away, don't worry. I'm swimming away. Just taking a swim, mate. Not doing anything wrong. Hope there's nothing in here that's going to try and eat me. He's swimming after me. Okay. We're not doing it that way. So let's retry from the checkpoint. I don't even know where that guy came from. But let's do a wee sneak again. I feel like... There's no easy way to get past these guards. But it's just safe to sneak past them, not to fight them or anything. Guard right there coming towards me. That's going to be a problem. Anywhere near, near buildings, we're going to find guards. Okay. I'm going to get behind that building over there. Because I feel like that might give me a better view on what's going on. Could be entirely wrong. But let's give it a try. We saw a guard off to the right there, just there. Don't see any in that direction, so let's move carefully. Run through the plants. The question is, which guards are around here? Because this is where I got caught before. Who's here? Any guards that we can see? Not obviously. Okay, we should be past the boundaries of where those guards are looking. Oh, she's over there. She's over there. That creates a little bit of an issue. I'm not sure if I can swim across here in such a way that no one's going to see me. Or whether my going in the water was what got me caught in the first place. Maybe it did. She's right here though, I can see her. Can I just hand it to her from here? That would be ideal. If I can do this without being seen, 
That would be good. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? There we go. I guess I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter My coat's ruined now. now. It's not from me, it's from, uh... From Bo. Bo, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, you shouldn't hang around. Strange, but also really, so Arthur, you shouldn't hang around. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages. Or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's Maybe. Different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. Oh. He was sort Will he make you work there? On account of having Probably weapons. not. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> Families are, are... That's very nice. There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Oh, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, <coughs> maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Yeah, okay, why not? I've just risked being caught by guards. And now I've got to leave the area without being seen. Can I... By anybody or just by guards? That's the question I want to ask. By anybody or just by guards? So if I'm seen... Is that an immediate fail? How far does this circle go? Quite far, but not much further than this bit. I should stop using up my stamina. Oh no, wait, that is taking my stamina down anyway. Okay, we'll go around the edge and hope that if I do that, I'm less likely to be spotted. We're close to the... Yeah, we are. There we go. There we go. Now let's just get our horse. Assuming it's close enough for me to get. Hello. Hello. Looks like we're with slightly friendlier people here now. Where's my horse? Here he comes. Thundering across the field. What? Let's get out of here. Now we should probably go back to Bo. And give him his letter. And just jump a fence. I've noticed some... I don't know what you call them. Odd behaviours with the horse. Things like, I can jump a fence that's probably, what, as high as the base of its, you know, neck. But it can't jump one that's about ankle height. Which is quite frustrating when you think, you go towards something thinking, I'll get over that, no problem at all. It's like this, I can jump this quite happily. But there was an area I was in before where there were like trenches and I wouldn't let you jump over a low wall. Which was lower than that fence. Look at these guys. And you know the trouble with that is that you, you kind of go thundering towards the thing thinking I can get over that, no problem at all. And you crash into it and you go straight over the front of the horse. In some cases, you might land on. So, I mean, you can go full speed pretty much at those fences. 
But yeah, as soon as you go towards uh, any some walls. I say official business. I don't think there's much official about it, to be quite honest. I think if they knew that what you were doing, your business would be at an end pretty fast. Hey, maybe he can unite these families who absolutely hate each other. Yeah, the chances of that are probably not great. Probably not great. Where is he? There's a guy with a gun there. It's not who we want to talk to. I think I went the wrong way. I should be going this way. I'd say I should be going this way, but... There we go. There he is. What's he going to ask me to do this time? You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. <laughs> you should try to charge him for his love letter. Thank you. Or is it going to be some other kind of letter? Let's run away. What a woman. She's. This will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Oops. Here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike Shouldn't be. Incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna. Inbreeding as well. Goodness. They've done it before, Mister. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. If I got to go to a suffragette rally. And rescue her from the cops, Come on. or from the an angry mob, because that I'm not gonna like. Out to roads, so I'm not allowed to use weapons in roads. But. He's going to... Right, he's going to take us there, let's see what he wants. Do they? And in the early days of that, they did get in some serious trouble. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. So what's gonna happen? Not gonna do that. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Well, which elements? Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Yeah, I'll drive the wagon. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest nope. march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And but he knows how to. Like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. He knows how to protect people. <clears throat> All right, ladies. Well, we'll try. Do you? He'd probably be sensible to just hide, wouldn't he? Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the back of roads, Mr. What was 
So let's do that. This should be quick enough then. I would imagine. Let's hope he isn't. Good. I don't want to use my gun because I'm not allowed to. Yeah, but when you say exciting in the early days of women's suffrage, exciting often meant very dangerous. Oh yeah, they want us to head home. They want them to head home. No need for that kind of behaviour, really, is there? Yeah. We're almost there. Okay then. Let's stop. Looks like the circus is in town. Okay. I'm guessing I'm going to have to knock some of these guys around because they're going to do something really stupid aren't they what's unnatural about it that's what the confusion I always have with the idea. Founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. Oh, for goodness sake. His philosophy is dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down, I'm trying to listen. What's he doing here? He's just here. He's just here, isn't he? What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining. Well, I could see that. I didn't. You didn't have to tell me. I could tell he was. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, where are we just leaving? Who the hell is this? Oh, don't, don't, don't be a silly man. Uh. Yeah. Let's have a little chat. No need to run. Take it easy. Old battlefield no one goes to. This is the place where I... Let's just take it nice and slow. They'll follow us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You should. We probably shouldn't be talking about it in public if you're concerned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's more likely, unfortunately. <laughs> no one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said I, I ain't heard about daughters. Heard Why are you now asking him about gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. No, oh, he doesn't know, so it might not be just a story. Don't give him the wrong idea about you, Arthur. If he works out that you're just there for the gold, he might uh we might have a problem. What are we doing? What are we doing? My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are So what are they gonna do? My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family I think it means you should leave just now. I don't. 
your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But oh, you don't know. Uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a autistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn. I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad. Was, was that all we had to do? Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse was that it? I thought we were gonna be followed. I was kinda hoping we were. You know, I wish that I could actually keep my weapons on me. Be so I would feel so much happier with that. That's what we want. We want our rifles. And I guess we're done. So what have we got mission wise here? Now we've got Dutch and we've got Molly O'Shea. Oh, and Albert Mason with his uh, photography is waiting for our help. There's a mission up there with a cougar. And it's really quite horrendous. I tried riding down uh, into the original map area. As you can see here, I went into tall trees. Uh, I got down to about there. But it seems like that whole area, at the moment at least, is wanted dead or alive, the moment you're seen, you will be hunted. And so after a while, I stopped being able to get away. I wanted to go down and see uh, Armadillo and all these places to see what it was looking like. But it looks like we'll have to leave that for a later time. I looked at the further reaches on the right here. And I got to there's a nice little town with a train station here. And a few nice little things going on. Uh, but now we're going to go find out what Dutch wants us to do. Because we put it off long enough. Yeah. Now, why have I got a knife in my hand? That's not what I want. Best to put your weapons away as you're heading into roads. I don't know how much longer we'll not be using guns here for, but we'll see. Sorry, I seem to have a very blocked nose today. Also, I'm in a little bit of a struggle because the uh, LB button on my Xbox Elite controller is loose and kind of lifting off. I've seen that it's straightforward enough to repair, but I've just mapped the LB and RB buttons to the to the back buttons, and it feels okay. So maybe eventually I'll get the parts required to uh, fix it myself, but for now it's not a major issue. So let's see, Dutch is in the Sheriff's Office. Because we're playing nice with the local law. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy, is a hunter. Boy is a killer! Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff! How are you doing, sir? Oh, the Grey is a sheriff. Boys had. Did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So Certainly can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. Well, it depends. I feel you were hard done by. By who? Mr. 
Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. What about dishonest men? Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> Depends what he's about to do outside, doesn't it? I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Yeah. Honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Ray, you are back. <laughs> there is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. Wait, you want me to take down some moonshine? Boys wouldn't mind it Stills. Out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Not a problem, so now we're deputized. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with temper. Deputized. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Yeah. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Sure. Climb on up. Let's go. Sure, I'll climb up. I think Arthur could do with a bath. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. Uh, sure. Yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations <laughs> on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most oh. just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work. You're congratulating me? Now let's see how that works out for us. You, there's a chain of command here. There is. Dang straight there is. What if they try and tell us to clear out our camp? Follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Sure thing. You were a big help with them Anderson boys and I put in a very good word. A big help, what you mean is I did all the work. We appreciate that. Rounded up the others soon after. I mean, that's what you mean. For the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Uh -huh. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Okay. Pretty sure you did. The Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found they're still still oh, are they? all over Lamar. Okay. Destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace if they had any grace Okay then. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the <laughs> so time for tax dodgers. He robs banks and trains. There's no time for tax dodgers. This is this gold they were talking about earlier. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see? Oh, we got a wagon at the side. Looks to be abandoned. What is it? What's going to be there? Let's see if we can find out. We got some dead people here. Yeah, I'm keeping them open. I wasn't able to do my. I shouldn't be able to do my uh, tr little tracking skill there. Oh, stop switching. Deputy, get over here, please. I'm coming. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, I didn't do it. This is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Oh, yeah, I saw them. 
taking a few of them out. Let's see who it is. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Sure, can you stop pushing me, please? I'm wondering why that option, that skill isn't working right now. I have to wait for him before I can get up. Okay then, I'll take the reins. Just take it nice and slow. Okay, Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. He's a legislator. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect. Oh well, that would explain it then. Government officials they've murdered this year alone. Have they? Yeah, definitely not. I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. We, um, rescued, uh, uh, deputy, I guess, from some Lemoyne raiders, um, in a kind of random event. Oh, we're going off track. And they, like, tie them up on a pole next to a campfire. Which is great, but I rescued the guy, managed to kill all the raiders, rescued the guy, and uh, he then stepped in the fire and burned to death. I thought that was funny in a disturbing sort of way. Why are we stopping here? What are we doing? Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about okay. The yeah, something about the Braithwaite. What Braithwaite? Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? So does that mean I have to use non-lethal means? Are we serious? Because I don't want to have to fist fight a load of armed men. Stick close. We've got a guy over there. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place. Well, I know what you said. And we just found ourselves the right but I would say that if you're not wanting to take these guys down lethally, we're going to be in some serious trouble. That's great. Doesn't really matter. But my friend here beside, he doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, we'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax. So we gotta knock them out without being spotted. Ooh. Remember what he said. We need them alive. I heard that. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Yeah, I see the one over by the bridge. Where is he? Trouble is he's facing me. I'm hoping he might walk away. Let's see what we can do, see if we can take him out. We should be out of sight here. How did Bill get there so quickly? I'll send him as soon as he's ready. Where's the next guy? Let's make sure he's knocked out before we move. Good stuff. Now let's just get up on here. There's a guy. Uh, 
Oh, did he just call me? Oh, I really didn't want to do that. I think I've actually got myself stuck. No, well, I haven't, but... Did he call me over to him? I think he did. It'd be great if we had some kind of tranquilizer darts, wouldn't it? It'd save a lot of trouble. He said he wanted me to come over here. But he didn't want me to come over here for any reason. Okay, well, go on then. I guess I've got a guy to take out too. Let's try. So we need to do it without being seen. Which means I'm going to circle all the way around. There we are, look. How do I knock him out? Do I just... Is there a button or do I just swing? There we go. This solves that problem. It's hog time. Then we'll get him up and I guess into the uh, into the carriage. I wouldn't mind seeing what they've got in this moonshine in place, but I guess we'll just have to not do that just now. As we're supposed to be lawmen. And they might frown a little bit upon us robbing the place. <laughs> At least when they're when they're watching us. Okay, we'll do that. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? Oh. Better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm... Shall let's drop some dynamite in here now and watch the fireworks. Do I even have dynamite? I mean, it's good sending me to do something, but I don't know if I have dynamite. Somewhere I can put it? I don't think I have dynamite. Oh, I do. That should do the job, I think. So let's just... <laughs> I thought it could kill me, but... I was obviously a little close. Let's try that again. Oh, for goodness sake. Controlling this is just a little bit... twitchy at times. That'll just do the job. I think. Oh, now we're going to have to... Let's take them out then. Well, it looks like Bill's in some trouble. Oh, and I'm going in the water again. Make sure Bill doesn't get killed. Can't see anybody yet. I guess the what Lemoyne Raiders? Is that all you There's another one down. Where are they? Let's just see how many shots we can pop off here. One more guy. 
problem solved. Well, almost, anyway. Got him. Got him. One down. Where are you coming from? Where is that coming from? Is that some more of them there? Well, that guy didn't stay alive for long, did he? Oh, come on. Well, we're on the side of the law for this, so at least nobody's going to come hunting for us, I don't think. Oh, I'm running low. I say I'm running low on ammo, but I've got... That didn't take much time. Oh, he's gone round the other side. When I tried to get to him there. Dead. There's another one? Where'd he come from? Nope. Looks like we got them. What happened to him? Fine by me. Where's he gone? Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Oh, he took. Did he? Yeah, we should probably leave before we get in serious trouble. There's a lot of bodies there that we could loot. But I feel like we just need to get out of here. Before somebody comes and we end up in a bigger gunfight. Moonshine's gone. A lot of people are dead. And we're in a little bit of trouble. But we did it. We survived. I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I oh, I'm really sorry. I just blew my nose with the microphone live. I didn't mean to do that. I'm really sorry. Wait, so they steal the moonshine? He used to say some of us is not as American as others. You know what I mean? Does he? Did he? Trash hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. You yeah. Careful, they don't know us. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dutch. Bill, get this stuff well, sometimes. Come on. Sometimes. Okay. Guess he's taking that to camp. I'm sure he can. Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old nope. Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I nope. ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. It was. It worked really well. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. Do you think so? written all over. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. Where's my hat? Young. Hold on. Which hat's that? It's not that one I want. It's not that one. That's the one I want. I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Race me. Yeah, why not? 
On my word. Set, go. This horse is probably way quicker than mine. See you later, Dutch. Eat my dust, Dutch. Gonna have to watch though, because the horse's uh, stamina is gonna start to decline soon. I would have thought. Right, we're almost there. I don't even know if we're almost there, to be honest. <laughs> Let's hope you're. Oh, you did it the wrong. You went the wrong way, Arthur. That you're still ahead. Just. This is a bit of a twisty, turny course, which causes a little bit of trouble. I sometimes find twists and turns are not ideal for these horses, for some weird reason. Uh oh, we're running out of stamina. Oh, we're way ahead now. I don't think I can. Don't think I can hold the lead. The horse is getting tired. It's gonna get. I'm gonna. Oh no. Ah. Notice that my horse does not like you're supposed to just pre release LB and your horse eats the food. And now Dutch is miles ahead of me. By the way, Let's see if we can make take a shortcut. Oh, my horse is just not going to let me. Do I have to like be stopped in order to take the in order to feed the horse? I've definitely lost. Might as well just ride slowly now, what's the point? It's not like I had to win the race, is it? But my horse is rubbish! That would have helped a great deal. But unfortunately I wasn't able to do that. Needless to say, I lost the race. Oh, I am sorry, son. Yeah, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would yes, I you are. You haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well. That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. Is it really? I have long you today. Be well, here. Well, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Mm hmm. Very good. Okay, we kind of need. We kind of need to see. Oh, I don't want to do that mission yet. Although, potentially, I think I'm not going to have a choice because I think I'm being approached. No, I don't. Place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot Does he? On. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, we can do that. Or something along those lines. But first, what I intended to do... Was uh, what? What did I intend to do? Actually, what's this? Oh, some ammo. 
We'll take those. We'll take the pistol cartridges, why not? Oh yeah, it's great. I'll be back in a moment, guys. I need to use the bathroom. Okay, let's get right back to it, guys. Guess I have to listen to Dutch before we can do anything here. Yeah. Sure, there's probably more you know, better things we could have. Right. I need to stock up on ammunition. <sighs> Get some better ammunition too. So there we go. Anything we can upgrade that doesn't cost too much money? No, not really. So that'll be it for now. So let's go and look for a mission to do. So we've got Hosea here. And we've got Molly O'Shea here. She was the first one mission we had available. So let's go and see what she's got to say for herself. I guess. I don't think this law disguises fooling anyone. 
Oh, you don't think the law disguises fooling anyone? No, neither do I. Let's fool in those those very silly police officers. Yeah. I'll I'm not. I'm going over here. I don't know what the point of having a chicken coop was. Appear to, they don't appear to actually do anything. What have we got going on here? Here's Molly. Yes, Miss O'Shea. She's interesting. Come on, Molly, would you? Peter, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. I think he'll be all right. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So a you gift. Got some tip off. So now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the oh, inside. She didn't seem very happy about him coming over. So, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? Bill. You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. Oh, I'm not. You just said yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. Oh. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. I've no need to so be just looking for something. Charles, have I ever ah, there we go. Exactly. You boys should do this. It, it's easy. I'll only take a small commission for my information. Now, <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon. Yeah, what is it exactly? But very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm yeah, either one's good. A sick man, Arthur Morgan. A I just hope we don't get caught on our. Uh... Fake lawman outfit. Can I remove the badge? It's the outfit I want, thanks. Only five minutes. We've been quite successfully playing lawmen, considering we got a lot of moonshine out of it. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Yeah, no arguing. Let's just do it. So why was this mission for Molly if... If we're supposed to be actually doing this mission? Is there going to be? Is this going to be a recurring thing? Do you think she tries to tell us something, and every time she does, someone interrupts? What in the world? Yeah, we'll put on our cloth mask. I don't want dynamite in my hand. It would appear that it might be sensible to have my Lancaster repeater out. Let's have my repeater out. Well, we should have posted up right in front of them. Good plan. Don't want to get shot. Yeah, we know. Oh, he's uh, rich enough, but... Oh, 
Let's just see what you got, boys. Let's check this chest. We'll just take everything we can find, thank you. Maybe they shouldn't be speaking, like, telling everyone what their names are. Just a thought. Well, here we go, Cornwall, is it? Or maybe it's... I hope this isn't, like, the... the group of guys that... I think I need to use... that, but... Who have we got? Nice Can we get all of them, I wonder? Got another one. I don't know, we've just been closed off at the front, have we? Get across here. I've got the wrong rifle in my hand. No, I don't. Are we losing them, really? Oh, well, looks like we might be. I don't want to throw dynamite. We are moving fast. Where are they? Kill them then. What just happened? What just happened? I lost the gang. I think we're just supposed to race off, aren't we? I'm busy trying to take down guys that seem to be constantly respawning. I guess we just ride out as fast as we can. Let's see how quick we can get the heck out of here. Let's do this. Yeah, exactly. How have you managed to do that to us? Yeah, we're going as fast as we can. I'm just not going to get involved with uh, shooting them, because... If you do that, you end up getting lost. Don't you? Uh, away. The only trouble is... Are we? I don't think we are. There's a guy coming in on our left. Yeah, no chance you, for you, mate. Sorry. Yeah, let's just go. Stop arguing, let's just move. Yeah, somewhere where they're not going to see us. I don't think we should lay low here though, guys. What? In that shed? Right, go on, horse. Maybe I can take my mask off. 
Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Do what? There's nowhere to rest here. <laughs> nowhere easy anyway. So I got a mask on. Can I take the mask off? Is there anyone in this house? Alright. Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. It's time to go. Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn. I don't know. Let's just. Oh, no, no, no. They're not after us. Somebody in the house, I think. Yeah, they're trying to rob that guy's house. They're not looking for us. Did he hear anything? Oh, great. We're in trouble here. Here they come, Luke. Question is, could we maybe take them out stealthily? He's going to know because they've got these lanterns. Here they come. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sir, you head inside. I'll go around the back. Oh, we're about to get caught. Looks empty to me. The old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's You're right. Back. Turn around and go back. Oh! Place is empty. Yeah. Oh, great. Ain't that just great? Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. Behind you, Charles. Why am I... This is like the worst way to hide. That's not working. Right through the head, that's what we want. And again. That <laughs> might be a good idea, yeah. One in the head, and a guy there. Who in the head, too? There we go. Who's over here? One through the head again? That's good. Who's next? There we go. He's down. And he's down. I can't even see them. Still not dead. One down. There's another one. Another one down. They're quite far away. Let's see. Oh my god. We're not going to survive this. We have to get out. There we go. Let's get out of here. Come on, Arthur. 
Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> We're running into the woods, and now we don't have any horses. Isn't that a great start? Yeah, we're going. We're going into the trees. Best not to fire a shot, cause then they don't know where we are. Did we just leave behind the loot? Yeah, that's a good idea. With who? Him? Come on, let's move. Let's move. If we can. Okay. I might... Uh, switch to the shotgun for now, just in case, because they're going to come quietly. What are we doing? You'll like this guy, it's not a lot, but you'll like it. Two headshots. Let's go find them and help them out. Let me see. Let's try it with a shotgun again, why not? There we go. Oh, he... You're not going to kill me. As much as you might want to try. Uh-oh. Get behind a tree. Get behind there. My goodness. I need something to heal Arthur now. Uh, that one. I don't think the shotgun's the best option here. Hang on. That way. That's the way. He's dead. Right. Now let's move, guys. <laughs> yeah, move on, guys. Yeah, we got a decent amount of money though. That much is true. And I didn't get much. Okay, but that mission's complete. What do we have next? Uh, so we got Hosea or Lenny. Either option's okay, but Hosea was the first mission, so let's go speak to him. <laughs> Sorry, at the moment I seem to be constantly sneezing. Oh yeah, let's get on with this. Let's go catch Hosea, see what he's wanting. My horse is probably miles away. Oh no, he stayed fairly close by.
I'm wanted, but they know, do they know who it was? That's quite annoying. I'm afraid. I'm actually quite upset by that. Where did that guy even come from? We were in the middle of nowhere. And we were only defending ourselves. Against some overzealous enemies. Sounds to me like I'm going to be in some trouble here. Let's go this way. The wanted uh, side of things should be finished in a second anyway. Hosea. Is that where his mission was? God damn it. He's supposed to be here. But he's not. Isn't that great? Maybe if I ride away a little bit and then come back it might be there. If not, I might have to go and look at this other mission. That Lenny's got for us. Go find out what Lenny wants, and then we'll uh, hope that Hosea's mission opens up to us soon. Because it keeps us out of trouble. Don't ask him why we're dressed up as lawmen. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? What's happening? Let's find out what he wants. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Jose seem to think is out there, just waiting to be stolen. Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to... Great. Reckon there might be a That's what we cash. want. Just sitting around. I want to fight a lot of, a nice stash of Confederates who don't think the war's over. Exactly. Well, Doesn't sound like a good plan to me personally. Least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bell, deep in the woods. Shady Bell. Let's get going then. Oh. Excuse me one sec. If you say so. I'm sure it'll be as easy as that, yeah. Nice and simple. We just go and we rob some fools. I'm gonna... In fact, pity those fools in a moment. Come on now, Come on. It's this way. On me. So let's follow Lanny and see where he takes us. Is this it? <laughs> I thought he'd stopped there. Like he was saying, here we are. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking. Probably have. No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. Yeah, I've got a feeling. Some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Abner. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think we're probably probably right. Well, it seems that way. Let me just see if I've got something to fix my dead eye situation. Increase my core. Oh, that's a good one. Greatly restores it, but it does take your health down a little bit when you're smoking a cigar. Suppose for some people this message message is going over that easily. I don't agree with anybody that thinks that way, but you know, there are probably a lot of people who. He just called me an idiot for bumping into. It. That is true. That is definitely true. See, the only trouble with this whole mission, of course, is that with these guys being confederates, they're probably going to want uh, to grab Lenny and do something, you know, horrendous to him. I'll be it there, I guess. Yeah, it's probably a good plan to strategize. Not just running like headless chickens. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Oh, I cleared that outpost. Why? I don't want to. I think dynamites are slightly overkill for this situation, but you know. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. It wouldn't be good. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. I did kill a lot of people here before. Are we going in? Hear that? Someone's on the track. What are you doing? Someone's on the track. Right behind us. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looks like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on to something. Yep, we're on to something. What it is, I don't know. Let's just not go so fast. Let's take it down a notch. Into the avenue, between the trees. Let's just ride nicely and carefully. Okay, I guess we don't need to... I reckon that's probably a good idea. To leave our horses here. Can we? 
Oh well, I better go back then. Hang on a sec. Because I need... Oh, we did get it. Good. Yes, it's this wall, is it? I see some enemies. Yes. There you are, all right. Lots of them. Almost a moment. Be nice if you could mark them somehow. Got a Gatling gun up there too. Well, a Gatling. Real tight. You don't want a Gatling gun. Anything worth shooting? Well, there's that. Let's see. There's a lot of dynamite crates there. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna be friendly with you. Guess I'll shoot the dynamite crates while he's down there. Uh, yeah. They're gonna... Someone's shooting. Who's shooting? If you can draw them there... That would be great. They're not. To discuss the merits of glory and interest you in eternity. Praise be, my people. Praise be. Now, uh, are you? Have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Yeah, we're in some trouble here. Ain't gonna get a chance to shoot Lenny, sorry. Where's this Gatling gun? There's a guy. You don't even have to shoot them in the head, just shoot them. There he is, winged him, and killed him with a shot in the knee apparently. Where's the guy that's over on the left there somewhere? There he is. I feel like this gun's pretty useless. Gun's pretty useless against him. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. There's one. That guy's gone. There's another one. Oh, 
I'm going to need to use the sniper rifle for this, I think. Dead. No Gatling for you. Got him. And that one's dead. Can't get a good shot on them there. Oh, the door's just opened. There we go. I think I shot that guy's gun out of his hand. And I started a fire or something there. Yep, they will have. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Loot a body. Is there anything inside, maybe? That we can take? Okay. I'm coming if I can get out the bloody door. What? What's he found? Ooh, we found a carriage full of something. That'll do just fine. I think we should search the crates, officer. We should search the crates? Okay. Here. Come on. Oh yes. This is full of new rifles. New rifles? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Good stuff. Go. I think we're going to have to be very careful though because I'm pretty sure that this is probably quite an explosive... Quite an explosive situation potentially if we start getting shot at. It's not of time really to loot all the bodies, that's the trouble. Yeah, I need to get somewhere where I feel comfortable on the trail, first of all. Here we go. As long as we stay as straight as we can on the track, we should be just fine. You guys, you guys. There we go. Now let's keep riding. I'm looking, all right. I see him with chasing. Well, let's see if we can boost our uh, dead eye again. Smoking a cigar will greatly increase our dead eye core. So that's what we want. There's no point messing around with those guys. What's this? Is something burning over there? Our camp's not on fire, is it? Or is it just a haze on the ground? Just a haze on the ground. I thought it looked like there was something on fire in the distance for a moment there. Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot of good. Like everybody else. He's good.
What's going down? I'm dropping this off. I feel like we should sell the wagon. Or maybe we're about to get attacked, I don't know. We weren't that far away from camp, so... I'm a little confused. As to why it needs to cutscene me up. I say cutscene, it's in-game footage, of course, but... No, we know where our camp is. What are you talking about? Like, uh, like Arthur doesn't know where the camp is. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. Yeah, with a carriage. Full of weapons. These are fine rifles. Right? No, keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> yeah. You know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Yeah, he survived. I did have to rescue him at one point, but, you know. So now we've got a bull action rifle. Let's see. Well, Jose is here now, so... I want to see how this fires. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Okay. But it is a single shot, and it's going to be... a bit slower to use than some of the guns we've got. But never mind. Here we have Hosea. Now we can find out what his mission was at long last. don't think there's any other missions in the way of the storyline. We do want to go and see what... Uh, Albert Mason has to say. Hey, there we are. Are yeah, we have to. Back to where it came from. Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They no, must... no market Someone for it. it Stop look kind of lonely out here. I think we cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just what doing mean? duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. Alright. Oh, he's gonna give it back. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Has Arthur still got that badge on? We'll see you later. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. To do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite. The Braithwaite's horses. Yeah, I've been there. So what exactly are we doing? This is interesting. So what, we're going to go back and... What do you think? Because, I mean, what if... Well, I suppose the people who uh, got arrested probably never got back. It's Romeo and Juliet all over again. They could be. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but one sec. I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Okay guys, let's get on with uh, sorting this out.
don't think this is a great idea, but we'll see what the outcome is very soon. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Oh yeah, very modest. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word yeah. with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? Oh, may we speak to her then? Business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. She's at the house. Well, and he's going to ride on the back of her carriage. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. There, yeah, we'll proceed. Very carefully. Well, I'm. What you want? Found something. Well, that's nice of her. In the hills, thought, thought maybe you was in the market for us. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is... Yeah, come on. Else? The alternative is, you get shot. Now... Who uh -huh. shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Yeah, just give us some money. That's all we're asking for. It's easy enough, you isn't it? And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old yeah. Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In How did you answer, guess? Now you can do me a favor. There's an extra What's that? Box if you do. Drive All right. The stuff into roads, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray and give the stuff out for free. Mama. Hush now. I believe yeah. you call that a promotional experience. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Maybe. The road saloon. One sec. Here we go. So I don't know what was doing there, it's going a bit weird. So not only have we been paid for this, uh, with the sheriff. Yeah, it's not a great plan. All things considered. But playing dress up. You're a clown's idiot brother. A clown's idiot You're the brother. Clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Yeah, but if people know that, who we are around, but don't they? <laughs> oh, guys, come on. The hell? They're shooting at us, Hosea. You can't speak. You guys are shooting at us. Okay, it looks like they've got away though, so we're fine. Hey, <laughs> Fenton. Fenton! Sorry. Is 
Take a left. Stay in a straight line, please. Here we go. So they want me to uh, give out some shine. I feel like this is not a good idea. Because why? Why do this? Why don't we just dump it and then go? I mean, why not just drop them on the ground? You know, drive away. Instead of making a big production out of it. Like a couple of bucks. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hey. hour. Okay. Half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come What's going on? Let's hand out the liquor. Okay then. Sounds like a bad plan to me. Well, let's find out. Gentlemen! Okay. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 uh -huh. minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry! Put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. I'll have more Fenton. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift. It's not normally this slow. I'll have one, Benton. Open bar, gentlemen. Let's have some fun here. What? Here's the spot. Keep them coming, Benton. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Ah, the morning raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. so
I've been muted this whole time, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's change to our bolt action rifle and see how good it is. Oh! There we go. That's one down. And he just launched himself off his horse. There we go. Oh, who have we got? Oh, wow! <laughs> that was beautiful. That was a sight to behold. Dead. Sometimes, you know, the whole lock, auto lock on thing seems like a bad idea, but in this game, I honestly think it's just a little bit too twitchy to, to do it without automatically locking on. Oh, he's gone. Who's next? Anybody? Oh, I've got pretty low health. There we are, that's better. We're okay. We're doing well. I think. We're settling down. We've got like five bottles of moonshine left or something. Also, it wasn't theirs, they hadn't bought it yet. Are we? Advertising. Advertising. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. I think there's a very good chance she did. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, she's crazy, so... Local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mark. Looks that way. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. He has some strange hand gestures there. A lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Fun, we'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> there wasn't much acting going on there, was there? So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. That they're all... On the one side, dumb. we've got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich yeah. increases. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moon yeah. Shakers, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of yeah, all, but we don't know that. But nobody seems to know anything about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you boys think? We try to rob them both. And then it sets them off against each other. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last yep. thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. We have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna Yeah, they would they would. Okay. Well, I mean he's Jose's right. He's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Josea should definitely take the lead on this. Should he? What if he dies? She's pretty too. crazy. Now you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Grays place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Grays place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. Okay. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that did well, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. Probably makes more sense for me. 
to go to Braithwaite because the guys at uh, guys outside the house, the Gray's house, know me. Then again, so does the sheriff. And presumably I'll be one of the ones that was suggested. Is this like a choice? Can we only do one? We've got a mission for Bill there too. Uh, a Hosea mission for Braithwaite Manor. And a mission for John at Caliga Hall. And the big downside to that is that we can't use any weapons there. Just in case we need to, you know. Uh, I think we're going to try Braithwaite's. But maybe we'll see what Bill wants first. Makes some sense, I think. Don't really want to play Five Finger Fillet. Might be Five Finger Fillet. Maybe those two L's. And E and a T. Do you? Why? Why do you need a word with me? Here he is. Here's Bill. Well, oh, he's got to get off his horse to find out. I don't know about that. Been cooking since horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. What now, commotion? Yeah, robbing the bank's a bad idea. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? She completed I saved her life. Think it's worth going back there? Four of us get it's really not. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being around and we're really pressed into action. Robbing a bank. Go in quick and quiet. We can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Why does there need to be four of us? Risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the you mean? stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. Great. I'm sure it's the perfect right. idea. It's never going to go wrong in any way whatsoever. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So performing? This better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Oh, it's not going to be good, is it? All right. Let's go. I'm sorry, I've got no choice right now. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. Well. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen. Uh, okay. Let's ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. A distraction. Just on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> to mask up though, right? Yeah, it's a insurance policy. Yeah, An insurance so policy. All right. Fucks their crap shooters. Don't want any weapons out just now. Let's, uh... Am I wearing that mask? No, I'm not. Okay. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong yeah, it's going to go wrong, let's be honest. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting well, starts. Would be better if you could do it without shooting. Uh-huh. 
to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'm sure Valentine will be wondering what are you thinking this time? when we're going to be back. Feller's always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. He should work. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. Well, we'll have to work that out, won't we? There was only a couple of guards. Yeah, but at a time when you say there's stocks, stock sales. You know. Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than <laughs> well, he thinks I can blow the vault. Got dynamite. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? Did he? Oh, what kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there uh -huh. putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking yeah. a couple times now. But you keep messing up. I don't. This is a hell of a ride, by the way. It'd probably be a lot easier for us to get there if we used a carriage. Yeah, it's a really bad idea, Arthur. Yeah, I could have done without it. Yeah. Exactly. He played it cool, apparently. I'm hiding away from all the work. There's a reason for that. This is going to be a bad idea. Yeah, well, let's hope you manage to get it right this time. I know the reason he probably gets in so much trouble when he makes a mistake is because he, the mistakes he's made ones that almost killed everybody. Yeah, and it's probably his bank. Folks never look at what's right under their nose. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's always true. Yeah, me neither. Excuse me. Here we go. The last two weeks happened. Yeah. He can't have many men left at this point. I think he probably can. But we all walked away fine from that. Did we? Yeah, but... Yeah, I'm not sure it's you. Yeah, it probably wasn't the greatest. It certainly does. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? No, we should not. Right. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course. I'm pretty sure too. I don't think he is. Don't think he is. I think he's gonna be quite unhappy. Keep it down now. We're here. Yeah, this will be quite as church mice. I'm sure that's what'll happen. Her name's Karen and she wants to see the manager. 
That's what she should do. That's how she should distract them. But she's got the wrong hairstyle. Good plan. What are we getting ready for? So where is the bank? He's carrying his gun in his hand. Keep it cool. Rifle in your arms. I think. Let's do that one. I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. Yeah. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my yeah. heart. You really do. <laughs> Just get in there. Let's get this dumb idea out, out the way. Look, gentlemen. We got this. Well, that story's laying it on pretty thick. This looks exactly like... Come on, move. Open the vault. Don't mess around, buddy. Just open the vault. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Yeah, come on, buddy. Okay. Don't make me hurt. Get it open. You got damn slow. Yeah, move. Before someone arrives. Get it open. Okay. You gonna open it? Seems to be messing around. There we go. Right, let's get in here and get everything. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. Open the lock boxes now. You know what's gonna be funny? Oh, well, you've made a mistake here. Now what? Now we open them. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Uh, it'd be better to crack the safes, but it'll take forever. If we blow up the safes, we're going to get caught more easily. Let's do it. I'm not sure what we need to do to crack the safe. I hope it doesn't take too long. Okay, I'm going to need to counterclockwise. That was it. There we go. Now we're going to turn it clockwise. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. It ain't too long. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, 
Somewhere up here. There's one. Have I got to get the rest of these open? Not that easy. Seems like you just go round. There we go. There's another one. Well, be careful checking the front, would you? How's it looking there? We got about four grand out of that one. This is going to take ages, though. We're going to get caught before anything. Seems like you can do it quite quickly, though. Another one down. Oh, well, we got like two more. Yeah. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you as long as it takes. Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Well, I'd love to, but it says to slowly rotate it, but that doesn't seem to make any difference. Well, where's that last number? There it is. I mean, it says to do it slowly, but you really don't have to. Last one. Good. We you just race move. through it. At least we didn't draw, like, major attention. And also, this, this way, we'll get as much money as possible. There's one. And there's the last one. Don't kill anybody, just knock them out. I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. We better be. I'm going to shout before we get to our horses, guaranteed. Shit, there we go. Don't, just, just take it easy. Why are you shooting? They didn't even know who's robbed the bank yet. Now you've made it really obvious.
Oh, I keep, keep, sorry, I keep having that on mute. I think we'll make this the last mission for tonight, though, guys. Because I think we did... We got a pretty good haul here. Not with a train. Yeah, well, I don't know if I can. Ooh, just. They lost us. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go you're on not kidding about a heap of trouble. That was just silly. But, somehow we did it. Somehow we did it. Wait, so I've got to do this now as well? I don't think that's fair. Maybe if I give her my money and then take it back as the debt. I guess, I've got a feeling that's what's supposed to happen in this mission. Maybe I'm wrong. Just seems awfully convenient, doesn't it? Just get a massive haul of cash and... So we can either keep our massive haul of cash or help these people out. Bear in mind as well that we have got a big bounty on us here now. I wonder how big my bounty is. Is that five dollars or five hundred dollars? It's five hundred dollars. So we're going to be in some trouble right about now. Well hey, if she really wants to do something to pay us back, what she could do is she could kill me and take the bounty. That's the other potential outcome. So as long as she doesn't know about that, we should be fine. We just took all this money, can we not just let this one slide? A young mother and child... Mother's been... You know... Widow, is a widow now. And we're gonna chase her for... Money that really... Was probably gained illegally. Hey there, dog. What's up, dog? My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a yeah, choice. I honestly I am. The way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There yeah. Was no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Yeah. Please. Give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy Why is he going to respect you? Come on. You. Well, maybe Why would he respect you, Arthur? I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick but to perhaps, but I doubt it. Words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. And... I feel like I don't like that. I thought maybe there'd be some sort of 
twist in the tail there. But there's not. He just takes her money and rides away. I wonder how much money we'll have after this mission. I feel like that that kind of take is a bit of a game changer. Do you work out that you only get like, I don't know, two hundred dollars or something? Twenty grand. Gang shares. Oh, no, I get two and a half thousand. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Now, I could probably do some upgrading here now that I've got that, actually. Let's do some upgrading here. Yeah, evening to you too. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Where's the donation table? Oh wait, no, that's the... That's not where I need to be. It's over here. I have to admit that the idea of... robbing that place seemed crazy. But surprisingly, it actually went quite well. Let's take a look at the ledger then. Let's see, what can we upgrade? We'll upgrade that. Our supplies. Because we've got a decent amount of money that we can actually spend now. Of course, it does mean we have to spend an awful lot more to restock. But that's not necessarily a major problem. Uh, let's do that one. I feel like all these ones that cost less than 100, we could probably take quite happily. Even if it costs just slightly over 100, we could probably take it quite happily too. Let's do that. So now that's fully upgraded with all the potential items we'll ever need. Uh, map to plan journeys. Horse station or a boat. I feel like we'll take the map. I've still got more than 2,000 you know, dollars, so even after doing the map we're perfectly fine uh, improve the rest of the tents and camp, yeah we'll do that too that should still be over 2000 is that, is that an improvement? I don't know I think that's it, so lodgings are done uh, we could upgrade the camp boat. We could add a horse station. Yeah, okay, we'll do that one and that's it. Although, if you look at it, you think it's just some planks in the wood, in the ground, some, you know, holes in the ground. Does it really cost $300 to do that? Anyway, we're done. I don't really need a camp boat at the moment. But here we go. Evening. What did you think about our little take? Well, no interest. How's my shave looking? We'll just make sure that everything's done. Yeah, chin's still back to zero. Okay, guys, well, I think that's going to be it for this evening. Uh, thank you very much for watching me. 
and I'll see you all next time. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter page, twitter.com slash supernotice, to find out when I'm going live. And I'm always live here on Mixer at mixer.com slash supernotice. And my videos do eventually go up onto YouTube, although I haven't uploaded any in a little while. But I do intend to remedy that in the next day or two. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you'll join me next time. And good night.